What a great day. What a great day. The, uh, the president will be here in a moment. I normally would acknowledge him and welcome him to Ohio, and I will do that. Uh, to Senators Brown, Portman, members of Congress, state and local officials, and members of the Ohio State Legislature. We celebrate today a great victory for Ohio, but an even greater victory for our country. We have learned over the last few years that there are essential items, necessities, that we must make here in the United States of America. We can, we must, and we will make them here. To Pat Gelsinger, to Kayvon Christie, to the whole great Intel team, we know that we're entering into a long-term relationship with you. By choosing Ohio, by choosing Ohio over 39 other locations across our country, think of that. You recognized and you put your faith in Ohio and in our people. On behalf of the people of the state of Ohio, let me say to you, we will not let you down. To my fellow Ohioans, this is an historic moment for the Buckeye State. By choosing Ohio, Intel has recognized what we have known all along, and that there is simply no better place to raise a family than Ohio, no better place to live, no better place to start or to grow a business, and no place no place that provides more opportunity than the state of Ohio. My fellow Ohioans, by choosing Ohio, Intel has placed its faith in you. They have placed their faith in our women and our men who are building these fabs right now. There is a children's book. It's titled, They Build the Dream. And to the men and women who are out there today and who will be here for years building, we say thank you. Thank you for building that dream. And to those who are the Intel suppliers and the suppliers of the suppliers and on and on, we thank you. You also are building that dream. Intel is placing their faith also in those who are teaching the next generation of Ohioans and those who are preparing them for the jobs of the future. Because for all our other assets, our greatest, our greatest asset is our people. Ohioans, Ohioans are the heart of the new Silicon heartland. Just, just think about it. Today at this moment in Ohio, today right now in Ohio, there are young men, young women, attending our 14 public universities and others in our 74 private liberal arts colleges and universities studying mechanical, industrial engineering, other things, all of whom may one day work here at Intel or in some other great Ohio high-tech job. Just think of it. Today in Ohio, there are young men and women 
in our 23 great community colleges. Studying microelectronics or electronic engineering technology who will one day work here as manufacturing technicians. Think about it. Today in Ohio now, there are young men and women in our 50 career centers, high school career centers, studying the STEM disciplines, who will one day work here in a wide variety of occupations, from high-tech manufacturing and cybersecurity to also the skilled trades, electricians, pipe fitters, HVAC technicians, sheet metal workers, who will, in the future, be building the third and fourth fabs, the fifth and sixth fabs, and the seventh and eighth fabs, and on and on. My fellow Ohioans, this is a great victory. This is a great victory, and it is just the beginning. In the days and months and years to come, there will be many more victories in Ohio because we are investing in and preparing our young people and our older people for the future. A future that is bright. A future that holds great promise. And a future where all Ohioans, all Ohioans can live their American dream. It's a great day in Ohio. Let's celebrate today. It is a great day in Ohio. And the best, the best is yet to come. Thank you very much.